what really are the best settings to use in Halo Reach? When it comes to key bindings, mouse sensitivity, controller sensitivity, and button layout, well, in this video, I'm gonna go over all the details for you. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you an informational video about Halo. If you like this news and informational kind of videos, something like that, make sure you that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you enjoyed it or learned something from it, it really does help the video and channel a lot, guys. If you have any suggestions or have any things you'd like to use, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, make sure to tap subscribe, guys. Keep yourself updated with everything going on in the Halo community. So let's get right into this video here. So we're going to be talking about controller sensitivity, mouse sensitivity, and key bindings, button layouts, things like that. So if you guys like these kind of uh, videos, so, you know, like I said, make sure you hit that like button. So let's get right into it here. So first I'm going to start out doing the controller setup, and then I'm going to move over to doing the PC setup. I will leave a timestamp in the description down below, so you guys can kind of jump to the section you're here to watch. So we're going to start off with the Xbox controller. So I got my controller plugged in right here onto my PC. So let's go into the settings here and go to bigger gamepad. So we'll start off with probably the main thing you're probably, you're probably concerned about, sensitivity. It's a big thing where it's usually think about personal preference and uh you know what you've come used to because obviously you need to feel one with your controller if you're going to be trying to aim properly so my pre you know there is obviously some preferences people generally go through uh, i've seen people play on one two or three four or five sensitivities so ultimately it's up to your preference but it's up to uh, but there are some kind of activities that people kind of lean towards the most i've definitely noticed a lot of pros get playing are from three to six on sensitivities I mean, I've seen, but I've seen plenty of streamers play on eight or ten sensitivity as well. So, uh, just one thing to keep in mind. Me personally, I play three and a half horizontal, three and a half vertical. I find that to be pretty good for me. I do find that uh, reach sensitivity is a little bit higher than the other Halo game. And uh, everything else here, I kind of keep to uh, standard with the loot acceleration five, and we have axle dead zone and radial dead zone being 12 this is basically really more for just to kind of compensate for uh stick drift if you guys know what i'm talking about where you know when you let your controller go up and then your guy keeps kind of aiming off to the right or silver left or whatever that's a, a dead zone spot to kind of help out with it's default 12 and also kind of plays in with a little bit of how the game feels if it's like over twitchy you might want to maybe boost up your dead zones if you feel like you really have to like jerk your stick around that kind of gets uh raising uh, to uh, get the kind of feel that you need, then you will try to play around with that a little bit. Uh, but mainly do with your horizontal and vertical. I generally like to keep these the same, uh, just to kind of gives you a much more consistent feel when playing. Now when it comes to stick layout and button layout. So stick, I like to crouch behavior, I like to play hold. Uh, it's just a little bit more smoother, a little bit more fluid. It helps you out with different kind of jumps as well. If you want to see different kind of jump stuff, check out my map tutorials uh, that I do upload. I try to keep up about once a week for you guys on that as well. So. Uh, Keep an eye on that. I play on universal bumper jumper. It basically means that you're jumping with your left bumper, your melees with your right bumper, zooming in with the right stick. Uh, re reloads B, X is use equipment, so I like sprinting usually when you're playing in Halo Reach. And then, so that's really kind of the main difference with that, really. Again, uh, the grenades, left trigger, obviously right trigger shooting. So the reason why I like to use bumper jumper is that way. Uh, if you can jump around the map without having to take your thumbs off sticks. Uh, generally, I find myself, whatever kind of um, button layout helps you avoid taking your thumbs off the sticks is generally going to be the best option for you. To play. As in, uh, you can continue aiming, you can jump and aim at the same time. You can use uh, the jetpack as well in Halo Reach and aim at the same time on top of that, which we'll get into later about uh, what kind of button like. That I like to use for that. It seems to be the general consensus that bumper jumper is the most uniformly best option. Obviously, there's people that play claw, which means you put your pinky, your pointy finger over the buttons right here. And so then what that can actually mean is that you can play around with different options. I know people who like to use like the left trigger for aiming. I think like proximity, I think, and I know like Uberneg, I think plays with the recon like that. So there are some different options. Keep that out there, but me personally, I like to use bumper jumper. I think it's kind of the universally best one to go for. Uh, I use jumper jumper enabled. This makes it so then you can jump, and then if you have the jetpack on, just press hold down jump, and then you'll start using the jetpacks. Jumper jumper makes it so you can press 
left bumper and then hold down left bump press left bumper again on the second one you're holding it down lifts your right up definitely something very important a stick layout default the conversion hell no nah, i ain't no pilot while i'm trying to play this <laughs> flight inversion I keep it the same as well just for that consistency of aim uh aim control i just realized i'm using classic nice you want to use modern i'm sorry uh modern is definitely the one you want to go with uh, because with classic, the issue was with the lateral movements. Think of like the X, the, the grid axis like this. And you're moving diagonally. The sensitivity was a bit inconsistent on your horizontal and vertical movements. So you actually want to be playing on modern. I just realized I've been playing on classic this time. So it could be affecting my aim actually in some of these games. Uh, what modern does is smooths that out. Uh, we had the videos, I have put up a video on my channel a while ago when they first implemented this in the MCC. Very, very important to make sure you have modern selected. I also have vibration turned off. Uh, one thing it saves on your battery pack, life on controller, and also just having that vibration really can mess with the feel and aim of your controller as well. Obviously, it's nice to kind of a haptic kind of feel through the whole thing, but obviously, like vibration is what you want to turn off. Most pros have vibration turned off as well. Also, personally, I like to play with the crosshairs in classic position which puts the crosshair not in the center of the screen, but in the lower third. This is an option for PC players. I play on PC mainly, and so what that does, it makes it so then less of your screen is covered up by the floor, and then more uh, space above is available for you to be seen. I will be making a video on this uh, later on as well, saying why I like classic crosshair position over centered crosshair position. Uh, again, that's also kind of preference. Uh, but I do notice that with um, centered crosshairs that the gun model is up a little bit higher as well, blocking more of, of your right side of your screen. And also with it being uh, classic, it's placed lower. And so then you're able to have a better visual of what's above you because normally you don't really care much what's below you. It's really about what's above. So it's something like, say, you're on the ground floor of Battle Canyon. You'll be able to see those guys up in the sniper perch or something like that compared to maybe you wouldn't be able to see Okay guys, now we're here for the PC control section. This is going to be a little bit more options when it comes to this. So we can just jump right into it. I'll get into the key bindings after we get into the sensitivity. Crouch, I like to use on the hold uh, just because it's very similar to what I mentioned before. That helps you out actually out with a lot better with some jumps. And it's just more natural of a thing to do when playing Halo. Uh, I like toggle zoom. I've just kind of grown to like that since I've been back in the battle to build three days. I used to play on there. Uh, low conversion. I keep it normal. I play with a 1.6 mouse sensitivity. I zoomed and vehicle sensitivity is at one. Uh, I don't really notice much of a difference when it comes to this. It feels pretty good for me. Mouse acceleration I have turned off. What mouse acceleration does, the same kind of thing when it comes to aim acceleration on the controller. Basically, it'll if you're aim when you're dragging your First, your mouse to the right. It will make it so when you're at the acceleration point that at the wider end of your, you know, hand to left or right, the aim will actually speed up and help you do like 360s really quick and stuff like that, which could be useful. But what the thing is though, that it adds this inconsistency when it comes to your aim and the, uh, the distance your you move your hand on the mouse to aim properly. So generally you want to keep this turned off Keep a one-to-one -one feel when it comes to uh, the movements of your hand and the aiming of your character in game. Almost everybody has this turned off, I don't, you know, but obviously if you're in some certain situation you might need to use that. But yeah, um, and then also on top of this, uh, like have us all on defaults, default right here for me. Uh, mouse, mouse smoothing. What this does, it kind of helps uh, alleviate some of maybe that jerky motion you might have from having a one-to-one. -one uh, motion with your character and the mouse uh, but the thing is that I have this turn off because again it adds a little bit of inconsistency with your hand movement and your character movement the mouse movement is supposed to kind of like help out so if you kind of like do like the little jittery kind of hand motion movements it will kind of smooth those out but then if you're doing like deliberate wide motions it will still be a one-to-one -one kind of thing this could be possibly useful, but again, most people have this turned off because you want to have that one-to-one -one feel. Now for the various key bindings, uh, I have the standard WASD for your, your regular movements. Uh, jump, I use spacebar. Crouch, I use left control. That's pretty standard as well. Um, and standard stuff right here for your zoom. I like to use for magnify zoom, so the double zoom on your sniper rifle. I like to use that one. 
Uh, I kind of got used to that when it came to playing like Dragon, so I just kind of come used to that. Plus, I'm used to you probably like for playing Battlefield 3 back in the day, fighting people, so it's not too crazy. Of course, that's up to preference right there. Melee is mouse 3, which is the middle mouse button. I like to click on that. Uh, just one thing is because it's a very quick, easy motion to make on the mouse. I mean, some people, I think default, a lot of times people has, put it as F. I just find that like moving your, you really don't want to bother moving your uh, fingers off of like the home key at all. And if I move and making lateral movements on the keyboard, get a little bit inconsistent when you're moving because you're not going to be looking at your hand, you're looking at the key. And so I find it easier to say hit the middle, click in the middle mouse button rather than searching for some key when it comes to melee, which are super important to get down in Halo. Uh, basically, there's a holy trinity people talk about of uh, weapon, melee, and grenades. Super important to get those, have those very accessible at all times for you. Talking about throwing grenades, I like to use caps lock because uh, obviously with my left hand it's gonna be resting on the WASD keys, and then my pinky finger is resting on the shift key. So I just gotta make a quick little motion up. I'll get to that caps lock. Now sometimes it does type, when I want to type in the chat, it does look like I'm flaming people. That's just because I forgot the left, ca left, left caps lock on. Uh, so I definitely do like using that one. I mean, you can probably change that with something else. So you just want like a very quick, easy access uh, button to use when it comes to th uh, action. I have it on standard. For, well, now for change weapon and throw grenades, I did change. Uh, I have two buttons on the right side of my mouse here. Uh, so the lower button, I have it for uh, change weapons. Basically, it'll just kind of cycle between which weapon you're using. It's good for doing the YY technique, say when you're sniping or something like that. Uh, switching grenades, I have it set to O, which is going to be my other mouse, uh, butt, mouse button as well, right above that. Uh, I don't find myself using that one as much, uh, but uh, it's still definitely something you want to be able to kind of easily ac accessible, switch on the fly really quick. And um, I always kind of associate that number button with like an equipment kind of thing. Armor ability, I have it set to shift as well. Uh, again, because like you want to use the armor abilities as soon as you generally as well. you want to use them as soon as possible when you have that initial thought to use it. So uh, you definitely want to have that easily accessible as well. I will also show you that when it comes to my sensitivities, that uh, my mouse DPI, you see right here, yes, it is at 1800 for a day DPI, which may come off as a bit high. But uh, this is kind of what I've come used to. That's why change your sensitivity in game to compensate for your mouse DPI. But uh, this is what I kind of like to use. I've always used 1800. It feels comfortable for me. Obviously, you can have your own preferences on that. I right, guess so that's everything when it comes to settings, when it comes to reach, or just MCC, just in general, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it informational, or you learned something from it, make sure you tap that like button. Like I said, it really helps out the video and channel a lot, guys. It goes really far. And uh, if you have anything you want to mention about this video or have any suggestions, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most people. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay updated with anything going on with Halo or some more Halo tips, want to learn some more map knowledge, make sure to tap subscribe as well because I'll be uploading a lot of tips and trick videos and news and information videos as well when it comes to Halo MTC and Halo Infinite, everything in between, guys. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap subscribe. So if you guys miss any videos for me, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.